Yeah. Yeah. Please, you talked all week about how you wanted to see them maintain what they've been doing, and they put up with it. Yeah. Look. Uh, Playing with some good confidence, uh, many contributors in different ways. Um, everyone's having a positive influence when they get in the game, so that's great to see. Uh, and they did a, a great job tonight when New Zealand made a couple little runs. Uh, we we got back out there, made a run of ourselves. So uh, it's, it's a work in progress, and it's nice to see it continue to build. So uh, you know, like when you're up by 20, like, you got down. Yeah. I actually think all year we've done a great job in timeouts of trying to nullify that. We had a patch where we could come out of timeouts and it just wasn't working, where over the last three games we've come out and we've responded very well. So, um, you know, that, that's positive to see right now. Um, obviously, I'm, I like and appreciate the way that we're playing right now, but to be five and five, you know, we dug ourselves a hole, we're getting out of it. So I'm excited where this team can get to, but I never want to get too ahead of ourselves at this point in time. No, we're progressing in, at a nice rate right now. Um, you know, and, and there's a lot of room for growth in this team. Um, you know, so I think everyone's just getting a little more comfortable with what each other's strengths are, and we're just playing to that a lot better. You know, like Wags, Doolittle, Ash. Um, you know, Ty Webster was really good tonight. You know, with the with the assertive and aggressiveness at the offensive end. You know, although he sh I think it was one for nine, but the pace he created for us on offense was very good. No, it only takes one Bryce Cotton to get the job done. Um, and and look, if we rewind to a month ago, I said, look, this is the guy we're going to roll with. He's shown that he can play at a high level for a long time. Water always finds it lev its level. So I was never going to lose faith in what he was going to bring to this team. Bryce, how, how do you write your own? Uh, yeah, I think I played pretty well, but it was a great team effort. And going back to what JR said, um, I think we ended the first quarter up 17 or something like that. And at the end of each quarter, it was always around the 14 to 15 um, point lead mark, despite the runs that they had. So this was one of our better efforts of playing a full 40 minutes. And when teams go on runs, stopping that bleeding um, early instead of letting it carry out. I think ironically, no, it's not necessarily a focus. We're just playing um, instinctually. And the less you think, the better the game flows for everybody. And once you start to play that way, the ball usually always finds uh, the right person for whoever's open. You said on TV, you're going back and have a look at your shooting and your technique and things like that. So study yourself. You're trying to get value from the three-point line, which you had for a couple weeks. Did you change something, or did you notice something that's different? Is that a coincidence that you um, I don't believe in coincidences, <laughs> so I can't give away my secrets. Once I'm done playing, I'll give it away, but I've done enough talking. <laughs> well, would it be correct to read something into the fact that that is occurring again, you're shooting this over the back line? Have you noticed something? Yeah, tell us what it is. Mm -hmm. is that, is that did I notice something? Yeah. Yes, I noticed. I noticed something with my shooting, um, and had a, a minor tweak to it. Yeah. The combination of his having the piano is a one-two punch. Like, how crucial is that to be his team out further? They go up him to someone else's team. Yeah. Look, every, every team or a championship team has to find multiple contributors. Keanu is progressing nicely as well. Um, but then I think we have a lot of other contributors at the right times. And like how Bryce was talking, like the ball finds the right people when you play the right way. You know, like Wagstaff, Doolittle, Webster, Usher. Everyone's making timely shots because we're playing the right way. Yeah, look, uh, that's something that I take pride in. 
Uh, last year we led the NBL in turnovers, least amount of turnovers in a game. Uh, I think we're trending that way as well. So to do that uh, at three, I think we had tonight, uh, it's very good. So then on nights when you're not having the greatest offensive night, at least you're getting shot attempts and the way we're rebounding gives ourselves a, a chance to put a winnable score up there. Yeah, John, you talked about the shots that you're getting. I mean, for a lot of the season, you talked about how you felt like the defense was going pretty well. You just needed to fix up the offense. But the, these last three games, the, the ball movements look so much better. I mean, you're getting some screens in there and guys are working off the screens. And everything everything looks like it's flowing a lot better offensively. Is it just as simple as having more time together where it's now starting to click? Like, time, time helps that. Um, but what I would say is, uh, like, we had a Christian late, then he misses a couple games with injury. Ty missed a couple games early on in the season. And it was just, like, disruptive enough. Uh, where now we're in more of a flow with our rotations and our roster, and uh, we're just a lot more comfortable. But as, as I keep saying, like, we can't relax. Just because we're playing well for three games, we can't relax. Keanu's playing at a high level than he has all season. Yep. Interesting game for him next up against his, his former team. You're in, a, you're in a good position to probably offer him some advice. You did it plenty of times during your career. How do you think you'll feel? <laughs> <laughs> How do you think you'll feel against his former team for the, for the first time? Like any player, you'll, you'll want to have like 50 points and 30 rebounds. Um, but we need him to play with a controlled emotion because they'll, they'll be the same way a little bit because he was such a huge part to what their team and success was last year. So harnessing what he can bring, and uh, I'm sure his teammates will be very mindful of the occasion and want him uh, to play at a high level. So, um, you know, just keeping him in the right mindset. But like, as you said, the way he's playing, just with his mentality, it's amazing how much opportunity he just manufactures through how hard he plays. Just the last one, just on Christian Doolittle, I mean, he, I guess from the start of the season, you always preach just giving him time to show what he can do because he came in late. And what he's doing now, he's just showing that he can do a little bit of everything. And, and a play like that is just so valuable. Yeah, and, and, and like, uh, it's, it's easy for us to highlight Christian, uh, like Wags, Ush, Ty. But for a team to be successful, you need those type of guys. But then let's not forget, like, there's five or six guys that don't get into a game most nights. Like, their attitude and their mentality at practice to make sure these guys are getting ready to perform like they have the last three games, like it is a full team effort. You know, there's just X amount of guys to get to play and get the rewards of that. So don't undersell what those other guys are doing on a daily basis.